Good afternoon, everyone. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library. And uh, this month at the Camden Public Library, we are fortunate enough to have a uh, children's author and illustrator Jim Arnosky's wildlife paintings on display here for the entire month. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fun North American wildlife crafts throughout the month. Um, and not only that, but it is Children's Book Week, so we are so happy to be celebrating. So today, we're going to do a North American animal. Uh, we're going to do a otter craft. Uh, because we have otters here in Maine. I've had otters in my pond um, that have come up. Uh, there's otters in the ocean sometimes playing. So I have a paper bag. Uh, this is a small paper bag, uh, but you could use whatever. I have just some scrap paper to stuff it with. I have, um, I have another paper bag that I'm recycling so that I can use, uh, make the head and the, um, the other parts. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to open up my bag and I'm going to stuff it. And I'm going to stuff it right in. Okay, so we're stuffing that right in there. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an elastic around the bottom here. So I am putting an elastic on here. And actually what I'm going to do is going to go like this to make it tighten up quicker. Like that. And like that. And one more just to make sure. There we go. Oh, yeah much quicker. Okay, so there's that part. Then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make my head of, and I'm going to draw it right on this, um, this recycled piece of, um, of newsprint or, or not newsprint, but, um, paper bag. And it's just another paper bag. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my I'm gonna draw my my little um, otter. Okay, and what I'm gonna do? Ooh, I'm gonna put some eyes on here. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, and I'm going to do the whiskers and stuff in his snout on another piece of paper because I want them to stand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do nose. I'm going to make that dark, just kind of scruffy like that. Okay, and then... I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Kind of make whiskers like this. Oh, I like that. Yes. Cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so now I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do like, um, little arms, kind of like that. And I'm going to go like this, and like this. And then I'm going to do two smaller feet, like at the back, okay, and this will be cute, 
Okay, so now I've got those, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them look like Harry with crayon. Okay, so I'm just going to do this like that because they are furry. And same thing down here. Love it. Super, super cute. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going and I'm gonna I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some um up here, kind of kinda like this. So Darken his ears up just to highlight his ears a little bit. There. Okay. So then I'm going to glue this on like that. I'm going to glue that right on there. Love it. And I'm going to put it in my marker. So I'm going to go like this and go like that. Cute. Draw some whiskers. Oops. Oh, I like it. Okay. Uh, so there's uh, the head. And we're going to glue that right on there. So let's do that. That way it'll start to dry while we cut out the other part. So we're going to make it so that our little guy is kind of just hanging out. So now I'm going to cut these out. Okay, so these are now cut out. And I'm going to, oops, glue on my otter's arms first. So I can go like that. Cute little otter arms. So he's like, got his otter arms like that. And then these little feet are like right on here. So I'm going to put one on either side like that. We're going to go one here. Here, like that, and there we have an adorable, adorable little um, otter to hang out with. And you can check out. Some of Jim Arnosky's great books, or you can look for his illustrations, or come visit the Camden Public Library during the month of May to see his uh, beautiful paintings of all sorts of North American wildlife. Happy creating, Miss Amy. Happy Children's Book Week, too.